Hey everybody, this is Rob Wilson with Performance Therapeutics and Prepare to Perform and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit today about how to release your diaphragm. And your diaphragm is a respiratory muscle kind of shaped like a parachute. It sits inside your rib cage and when you inhale it pushes down like so and you exhale it comes up like so. At least that's what it's supposed to do. When it's fully functioning, super awesome. Obviously it helps you breathe. Um, not as much in most people as it should. And then if you're an athlete, it also is a huge um, participant in stabilizing your trunk, right? So when we wear a belt or if we're just stabilizing without a belt, you take a deep breath and you get tight. And you have a bar on your back, pressing down like that creates pressure in your, in your trunk. And if your diaphragm isn't fully functioning, it makes it really hard to stabilize. Uh, and also, makes it really hard to take full advantage of your lung volume. Um, so what we're going to do is release that business. Um, I'm going to be using the Supernova 1.0 um, from Mobility Wad. If you don't have uh, a ball this exact one, it's fine. It's not as good, um, but it'll still work. All right. So anything about the size of a softball. So what we're going to do is take this thing and stick it right under our ribs. All right, so not like I'm doing, I'm just gonna show you where it's gonna go. All right, so I'm gonna take the ball right there. And what you're gonna do is lay down right on top of it. And if you keep your belly tight, you'll just sit on this thing. And you see how you can still see most of the ball. What you wanna do is almost like hang your ribs over top of it. And then relax into it. And every time you take a breath, you think about pushing your diaphragm and your belly towards the ball. And when you exhale, you sink down a little bit more. All right, and you can see how that ball is starting to disappear into my gut. Feels fantastic. All right, so we're gonna just keep taking breaths. You don't have to do anything super fancy. Um, there's some ways that you can freestyle later on, but first just learn how to breathe into the thing and relax your abdominal musculature. Now one point that is really important, when you go in here really deep, it starts to grab onto a lot of tissue. So when you're done, don't just slingshot yourself off of the thing um, because that feels like shit. So go real slow, get your ribs off of it, and then come up. All right. So that's the diaphragm release. If you want to get a good idea of where you're working and you're not familiar with uh, anatomy concepts, use the Googles, type in diaphragm or whatever fill in the blank thing we're talking about that day and look at a picture of it. It really helps um, when you're trying to visualize what you're doing. All right, have fun with that guys.